Annex 4. Shader Semantics When we write a shader, we actually write functions that will be executed on a graphic card. That implies that we need to retrieve values from the graphic cards and give it back others values. Each parameter used as an input or an output in our shader function must have a keyword called semantic in order to indicate the purpose of this variable. This information is used by the graphic card. Let's see an example. I would like to get the position of my vertex in a variable called vertex. This position is defined by four floating point values, so the container we want to create will be a float4. If we declare our variable like this, it won't be sufficient. We need to add a specific semantic, position. With this indication, the graphic card knows that he has to put the vertices position in this variable. There are other semantic keywords that we can use to get data. You will probably encounter normal, tangent, color, or text chord. In the same way, if our function returns a result that will be used by the graphic card, we must add a semantic, but the keyword could be different. At this point, don't even try to remember all these keywords. Just keep in mind that the semantic indicates to the graphic card the intended use of a parameter. This will be clearer as we write shaders. If you have any questions, or if something is not clear enough, let me know in the commentaries. To go further into details, check the links in the description. Thanks for watching, see you next time.